back to DM's Mugshot Beer Reviews. I'm finally back. I'm not sure when the next episode will come, but today I, I found some time to finally film a proper review. Um, just a little update. Last weekend I did go to New York City, but it was a really brief visit and I didn't even meet anyone as I was planning to. Uh, I picked up about eight beers, which I'll probably share with you. Uh, sometime later, but for now we're still reviewing the beers I got from New York City um, back in March. This is the Green Flash um, West Coast IPA, and uh, again this is a recommendation from Barry. He said it's one of his favorites, all-time favorites, American um, style IPAs. It's 7.3 ABV and uh, it's brewed in California, San Diego County. 95 IBUs. That's that's quite massive for a single IPA, this is not an Imperial and uh, again it's my first beer from Green Flash just like with many other beers in this season I guess I'm going to be using my Sierra Nevada point glass and uh, let's just get right into the beer alright so the, the cap is it's not bad it's just got that Green Flash kind of logo with no writing on it really hoppy smell um, just before I pour the beer um, I'll read the quick description on the bottle. A menagerie of hops, a layer throughout the brewing process. Simcoe for unique fruitiness and grapefruit zest. Columbus for strong hop pungency. Centennial hop for pine and citrus notes. Cascade for floral aroma. A multi-dimensional hop experience. So, I'm excited. I really felt like a good, um, you know, a good, strong, robust IPA. Hopefully this will meet my expectations. It's, it's, it's in a darker... Uh, range, uh, side of the range, I guess, for colors of IPAs, which is typical for the West Coast IPAs. A lot of them are really similar to this color. Sort of slightly hazy um, amber, like solid deep amber color with a nice uh, frothy head. Loads of grapefruit, that's, that's, that's the prevalent thing I'm getting. Really sweet with some nice toffee notes. A touch of maybe lemony, kind of, you know, feel to it as well in the smell and uh, some pine but it's off in the background at this point and uh, yeah it looks good, smells good, let's give it a taste hmm this is really good it kinda reminds me of the Flower Power IPA we tasted with Chad from Ithaca Brewing Company but with a lot more um, grapefruitiness to it because it's it's really it's that juiciness you get in you know in all of the I guess great West Coast IPAs. It starts out kind of sweet and citrusy, and then the bitterness starts coming through, and it sort of you know dangles in aftertaste as well, lingers on. The pine is definitely starting to come through at this point as well. It's got a chewy kind of thick mouthfeel to it, a bit syrup-like. But I think I like syrup-like IPAs more than like you know the very crisp and um, less bodied you know beer, the lighter bodied beer. I'm just a bit ill right now, so my nose is not as, I guess, active as it should be. But it is a very uh, complex hoppiness to get. You, f you feel the bitterness right away, and then you get some sweetness, then the bitterness comes back, and then it sort of falls um, in the dry, kind of slightly bitter aftertaste as well. Um, and yeah, this is one, probably among the best IPAs I've tasted so far. Hasn't got anything like tropical fruit notes at this point, it's mostly citrus and you know toffee caramel kind of things but it's really good i'll come back to you and before that of course i'm going to give the preliminary grades um the parents will probably get a nine because it looks really good the head's looking like it's going to stay as well the nose a nine as well actually because it's it's very robust it smells like a good ipa but that's not everything you know it's really really right in your face and then the taste will get a nine as well uh, the mouthfeel i'll probably give this I'll hold the grades for now, I'll give us an 8 or something like that. And the drinkability, I'll wait to give you those grades. So, great beer so far, Green Flash West Coast IPA. I'll come back to you in a moment and we'll uh, see what I think. Cheers. It's a really, really good, proper uh, American IPA. Yeah, actually, as I was drinking more of it, um, I started getting some faint, and slowly they become a bit more powerful, the, you know, the tropical fruit notes, uh, some mango, some papaya, maybe a touch of uh, pineapple as well as still a pretty good solid uh, grapefruit base. Um, this beer is pretty malty though. As far as the drinkability goes, this was really easy to drink and uh, the alcohol is well masked. 
uh, even though it's quite strong and I'm feeling this in my body, like I'm, feel, I'm guessing a, a little buzz going on, 7.3, this is quite expected, but uh, it's still not in the taste, it's warmed up, it's still kind of syrupy, which I like, and um, resinous. I'll give this an 8 out of 10 for drinkability, um, because it's not a session IPA, you know, by any means. Uh, as far as the mouthfeel, great, 9. I'm, I'm boosting this to a 9, because everything is, I mean, you have to be ready for an IPA like that if you're bad to have it, so if you are, you're not going to feel, you know, that, that anything's wrong with this beer, so it's really good. Um, as far as the taste, still a 9, really good, um, tasty, robust, powerful IPA, all the while this is quite well balanced, it's not one dimensional, so if you compare this to like Rogue Yellow Snow, which I like a lot, as far as the balance goes, this surely wins over. Um, and then, um, appearance, I'll still give this a 9. It's an unfiltered IPA, which I like. Um, it's got some tiny pieces of sediment, kind of chunks blown or floating around. For aroma, I'll give this just an 8, actually. It's, it smells good, but it doesn't have anything special about it, really. I have to mention something that somebody pointed out. In my grades, uh, taste, the taste still plays the major role. So, even though I did mention that, I don't want to go into, you know, percentage kind of breakdown of each grade as opposed to the total grade, but um, when I grade them, I average them up, but I, you know, I keep in mind that um, taste will always be the major uh, determinant of the final grade. So you get, this beer gets a nice 9 out of 10 for appearance, 8 out of 10 for aroma, and then 9 for both the mouthfeel and the taste, and a nice 8 out of 10 for drinkability. All in all, it's still a 9 out of 10 beer. I didn't fall in love with this beer, just, just because I did. It's not a lot for the first time. I'd probably have to revisit this someday. But it re really, it's really an amazing beer. So I really highly recommend this. Um, a 9 out of 10 for Green Flash West Coast IPA. Great beer, guys. A true treat for Hopheads. So that's all I have to say for this time. Uh, stick to good beer. And then next week is the... Actually, it's this week already. It's the famous uh, Mondial de la Bière, the Montreal Beer Festival, which I'm planning to attend. I'm going to be busy half of the not half of the days, but I'll still probably find some time on maybe Wednesday or something. Alright guys, until later, bye.